Child is still safely anchored in Marsh Harbor, Bahamas, with her two girl crew aboard. Elena has now joined the boat, and we're gonna begin sailing lessons today. So it's Elena's first day on the boat, and I introduced to her my Zen Buddhist story called Cup of Tea. The very first sailing lesson is to know when your brain is full. So, a cup of tea. Nenin, a Japanese master during the Meiji era, 1868 to 1912, received a university professor who came to inquire about Zen. Nenin served tea. He poured his visitor's cup full and then kept on pouring. The professor watched the overflow until he no longer could restrain himself. It is over full, no more will go in. Like this cup, Nenin said, you are full of your own opinions and speculations. How can I show you Zen unless you first empty your cup? To teach Elena how to sail, I need her first to let go of all the things she thinks she knows about sailing. Let's start fresh and learn the wild child way. To be able to teach anybody anything, you need to have common language and I'm gonna be jamming her head full of sailing information pretty fast. I need her to be able to tell me when her head is full and she needs a rest. Lexi put me to work right away as a galley slave. Oh. <laughs> when I came to Wild Child, I knew nothing about sailboats. I did not even know that the kitchen is called a galley or that the washroom is called the head. It is a double-masted um, cat, but it, I don't think it has mainsails. I think it has vertical solid wings and double, double jennies, like or double jibs. I've never seen a cat like this, and this is absolutely amazing. We spent most of the next three days jamming in as much sailing lessons as Elena could stand. Welcome to Elena's sailing school. So we've been giving her sailing instructions all day. She's in sailing class and we've made her all of these sailing diagrams explaining all the kind of theory of sailing, like points of sail. And she's got her study sheets and we learned about knots and how to tie knots and we're learning physics and sail angles and we're learning the names of the parts of the boat like spreaders and forestay and backstay and shrouds and keel and starboard and port. So Elena came to Wild Child literally knowing nothing about sailing, like literally not a single thing. So for the last two days we've been diligently teaching her how to sail with my fancy drawings and amazing diagrams that the rest of you all just love. I don't know if you guys all out there know this about sailing, but sailing is full of all kinds of technical terms. There's so many different parts of the sailboat to memorize the correct terminology for. So I thought, just for fun, let's see how you do. Can you memorize all of this? This was pretty much Elena's first day of sailing training. We diagrammed it, we the names of things, we went up on deck, we touched it, we looked at it, we saw what color it was, we walked it over, we learned how to handle it, we spotted other boats in the harbor, and then her head was full, so we had a break. So, welcome to Elena's Sailing School and Elena's fabulous and amazing sailing teacher, right? How's your teacher? Great! <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, now nobody on YouTube is going to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have to do sailing classes for Alina for a while because I don't know if we want to leave. We're in Marsh Harbor and we're safely at anchor and I don't know if we want to leave on Tuesday and it's Sunday now. I don't know if we've got like a week or two to sit here and relax and learn sailing slowly or if we need to be leaving soon. And if we need to be leaving soon and I don't want to be handling the boat alone, then I need to get her up to speed so that way the more she knows, the more that she can help with the sailing and, and the better crew that she'll be. Did you know that sailboats use big sheets and the wind to make themselves go? And this is called the points of sail. But depending on what the relative wind angle to the nose of the boat is, that determines how we have to set the sail. And then that determines how we're going to go. If we're going to go fast or slow or easy or stressful or healed over or have a good day or bad day. Or maybe we'll get to run wing on wing. Uh, I'm not sure yet though if that means like in two days I have to get her up to sailing standards or five days or seven days, I'm not sure, but the more we can cram into her brain the faster and the sooner we can turn her into a sailor, and I have to say, Elena is an amazing student, I love her, she's great crew, she's a great learner, she's doing a great job, the sailing stuff isn't so hard if you have a fabulous teacher, Captain Lexi, or if you have a really good student that's able to learn. So hopefully Wild Child can continue on her adventures soon enough once we get the crew up to par. As part of Lexi's sailing school, there's more to learn. You have six things to memorize and there will be a test. See if you can follow along. We use sails and we have specific names for all the different parts of the sails, the sides and the corners. Got it? You have to drink a shot for every one you miss. But for now, I think we're going to have dinner soon. Yeah. I can only stuff Elena's head with sailing information as fast as she's able to absorb it. We can let rumors abound the internet for how Lexi treats her crew. Elena's third day on the boat and I've already turned her into a galley slave. I'm making her cook my dinner. <laughs> I'm good, still. <laughs> So, look, Wild Child Jr. had a baby. Now we have two dinghies. Yay! Just kidding. So, um, my sailboat friends, Paul and Anna Marie, have, their, have taken their boat to a boatyard to get some work done, and they, they needed a place to store their dinghy. So I told them they could tie their dinghy up to, to the back of Wild Child, because I'm not going anywhere for a couple of days. So we would keep an eye on their dinghy for them, and they'll come get it tomorrow or the next day. So good morning, guys. It is Tuesday, April 9th. Elena and I spent all day yesterday doing sailing classes, and I kept her up late into the night teaching her things like helm electronics and steering the boat, and I kind of filled her brain so we had to stop. It's going to be really hot this week here in Marsh Harbor, Bahamas, so we actually are going into town early in the morning. Well, it's 9 a.m., so it's sailor early, because we need to do some shopping. we got to get her a snorkel mask. We want to get some provisions, because we're probably going to leave to go sailing soon. Last night, I thought maybe we'll go sailing today, because Michelle is making the crossing tomorrow, and we were going to meet him at Great Sail Key, but after ramming Elena full of sailing stuff yesterday. I kind of overloaded her and I don't think she's really ready and I don't want to rush the boat and rush her out sailing before she's ready. So today we're going to do our shopping in the morning before it gets really hot and then spend the afternoon just doing more sailing lessons till we can get her sort of ready to go. I do want to be ready to sail Wild Child with our fantastic new crew. Ta-da! A fast, fantastic new crew. I do want to have to get us ready to sail in the next few days. So Elena is an amazing student. She's really intelligent. She learns terrific. She's doing a great job, but it takes a little while to learn all the sailing stuff. So I need to give her time. So we'll continue today and tomorrow. And then if I can get her up to just sort of basic ready, I can still do most of the stuff on the boat, but then she can help me when I need help. And, um, and hope, Hopefully we can maybe go swimming this afternoon because it's going to be really, really hot here in the Bahamas.
Well, we didn't actually film our trip into town, but we did get cheesecake at Maxwell's. Clearly both us girls deserve to be rewarded with cheesecake for all our hard work. With all of the boat lessons that we're teaching Elena how to sail, there's still regular boat maintenance to be done. So the, the repair on the bow roller, remember that we broke it off in Moorhead City and we had to put a replacement in and we, it's just, it's rubber now so it, it doesn't, um, it's not super strong like before. Um, Michelle had changed it, uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago in Great Sail Key and one of the things that he did is he tightened the bolt, the nut and bolt that goes through he tightened it so he squeezed the roller so much that the roller doesn't actually roll. It doesn't roll anymore so you can see, if you look, you can see it's already kind of getting cut up. It's all grooved and damaged and it's going to rip apart soon. So Elena and I are going to fix it. We're going to fix it and what we're going to do is like undo the, the nut and bolt, pull them out, change the roller, reattach it but this time not squeeze it so tight that it can't roll. Which was the mistake that Michelle made the first time he repaired it, or the last time he repaired it. So we're gonna fix the bow roller, but to fix the bow roller, we have to go to the hardware store, which is back under the pilot berth, to dig through to find the spare parts that we need. This is kind of a giant pain in the butt, but the good news is Alina has agreed to do all the dirty work for me. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hand things to you and you're going to have to start like stacking them on the floor and on my bed and on the couch. So one of the things about life in the ocean is that all of your tools rust at an amazing pace. So I had Alina take the penetrating oil and she's trying to work it in to the joints of the adjustable wrench because we need that to do the repair on the bow roller now. We didn't actually film the repair job, but much suffering later and the new bow roller was installed. Hot, sweaty, dirty, grumpy, but Captain Lexi wins again. I'm not sure if we're ready, but we're gonna do this real soon.